here from Nelly and Clem and um, yeah long time no see I'm afraid <laughs> sorry about that I've been a bit uh, hectic and kind of uh, yeah there's been lots going on and um, so yeah it's been a bit uh, it's been a bit too much to sort of try and add in videos amongst everything else that's been going on it's been a bit crazy so um, yeah I um, but I wanted to put together a video because I have finally finished one out of three of the big projects that I've been working on um, this is the uh, Ali Edwards uh, Week in a Life back from May, uh, and it is now July, <laughs> but um, you know, I did it, uh, it's done. So yes, I I don't know if you've been following me on Instagram, but you would possibly have seen that I decided that I wanted to do that project in a 4x4 album. Um, and I also wanted to uh, to use this really amazing idea um, from Sweet Ashley Ann. Um, it's her Instagram handle. I'll pop the link into her page below. But she did this amazing thing where she used um, the alphabet as prompts for her December daily. Um, and it was just like an absolute genius idea. I just thought it was such a clever idea. And I mean, everything she does is beautiful anyway. But yeah, I'll I'll link her below so you can see. Um, because she's still working on her December daily now. She's working on it in July. So um, you can still check out sort of how she used the alphabet prompts to to kind of come up with a a list of different things she wanted to kind of talk about on those days. So yeah, it's a really cool idea. I just sort of thought it would work really well actually for a week in the life. So um, so that's what I did. I kind of used the alphabet to kind of pick up prompts that then I could use for my photographs because I took like a bajillion photos. So <laughs> yeah, it all went a bit uh, a bit hectic. I mean, as you'll see, they're um, they're, they're pretty chunky. So <laughs> I'll I'll just what I'll do is I'll flip through um, and then just kind of chat through as I go um, and then obviously if you do have any questions about anything else then you can always sort of pop me a question in the comments or something if, if you want to know about a specific part of anything um, I there's a couple of little bits and pieces in here that are from uh, when I was doing jelly plating because um, uh, Ali posted like one of her craft the story Friday videos about jelly plates so um, I did a little bit of jelly plate bits and pieces for um, for this one I used some of the bits from her um, from the actual week in the life kids as well so I've got like you'll see like some bits and pieces are in there from that and other things are just like random stuff there's quite a few alley bits in there like these little um acetate dividers which are half circles normally um like this but I cut it down just to kind of fit in this album but I still think they look cute and then I'm gonna work out something to do with the because I got little off cut sort of triangles <laughs> so um, I'm gonna work out what to do with those I think maybe do some kind of acetate mosaic -y type thing uh we'll see but yeah so I've just got a little um that's highs and lows memories uh stories from this week so that's just my sort of cover um I've just got a little breakdown here about kind of around here because a I did around here so I just wanted to kind of talk about the project and add, like as an overall view of what was going on that week um so that's another one of the chipboard pieces from the, the kit um there's some random little bits and pieces in here as well like I think that's a Maggie Holmes um little flower so yeah just gonna add in some bits and these are old old Ali Edwards um little alphabet chipboards so I think they're still on her website you'd have to have a look but um but yeah I just thought they were cute they kind of match the blush color of the album so that's kind of why they went in <laughs> so I've used the little acetate chop down dividers um just to kind of add in which I quite liked to just sort of pop in here um I've, and then I've just kind of got like little embellishments on some of the photos so it's kind of sort of follows a formula of the alphabet piece what that day is some of them have got a full-on title and other times I've just put like breakfast time so I'm just kind of talking about like breakfast and then like the photo will be relevant to that sort of sort of all like little mini stories really underneath each prompt so this one yeah breakfast um I used to Ali di digital circles these are regular circles and I've just sort of popped um different coloured circles behind it so I just did that in um, PowerPoint but you can do that in Word or you could do that in Photoshop or whatever um so yeah I just did that and then I overlaid a little box here to, to put my text in so I've kind of done that a few times um 
and then just like yeah just putting the chipboard things on some of the photos so i've just got to thank you for this <laughs> uh that one this one c for clem so it was all about my cats and sort of how it's been nice to spend more time on lockdown with her because this is all sort of during lockdown as well so i've just got to kind of focus on the good and then yeah just talking about like the best parts of lockdown being seeing her more um so that's a cute picture of her and me and my new shoes <laughs> little um, chipboard heart there uh, this one is all about dinners, so D for dinners. Um, I used some little Felicity Jane um, numbers here, and then what I did was um, I used, I made some little kind of flip ups because the pictures weren't great because <laughs> they were a bit random dinners that week. So um, I just sort of thought, oh, well, if I put them behind some little paper, then um, I can just sort of list out the dinners here. So I just did that there, um, which is fun. That's the little old breakfasts stories kit there was like some cute bits from there like egg and an avocado and some bits so uh, and that's just one of my stripy papers so um yeah so I just um popped those in there like that uh for E for enjoying so I just did quite a few of the prompts I just sort of thought they'd be quite nice to add in because then I could just put like a little list of what I was enjoying so you know just sort of spending more time with my husband wandering outside lunchtime sunshine because it was a really sunny week that week in May it was lovely um talking about like the craft room set up with the shelving um like lockdown lifting and you know those kinds of things so yeah it was just kind of like having a little chat about what the, the good stuff you know um so i've got my little e and a, a heart there so kind of like coordinating with the the kind of the the colors of the the, the digital i think this was like a a digital journal card i think i just sort of popped some color behind um so that's cute and then yeah i just sort of added in then a photograph that kind of represented one of the things so going out at lunchtime and getting a like a smoothie so um so i did that and then that's, that's just a little photo of me walking back with that um then f was for flowers so just sort of saying how everything in the village is in bloom at the moment it's gorgeous so yeah so i just took this really lovely picture of um this tree that was blooming so i wanted to do sort of put that in so then i just kind of made a little grid popped a little heart behind then used some old alley uh, little el uh, alphas to pop that down and then that's a acetate word from the bloom stories kit so i used that in because it just sort of worked nicely with the the kind of little mini story I was telling. It's another one of the acetate pieces there. And then that's just a little um a little floral because it sort of matched the flowers which was quite sweet. So I just added that in a little paper clip. Um that's another Maggie Holmes uh one. So yeah so that's cute. Um oh, these ones keep coming up it's really annoying. <laughs> I think they must be a little bit old. So I've got um a little grateful four and then I've just done another one to five kind of little um things that we're talking about again like working with my own village trips, scrapbooking, listening to audiobooks and iced coffee so I have a little G for grateful and then just sort of a little yellow chipboard heart I've just popped over some flowers I got that week and just a little everyday magic so yeah just a little picture of my craft room and my shelving unit. Oops. Uh, this one's H of home so uh, just sort of talking about going out into the village more and documenting that so I did take quite a few photos while I was out because I never really thought to take pictures of where I live and it's beautiful so I don't know why I don't <laughs> sort of idiot um, but yeah so I just took some pictures of like the, there's um a pond right near where the coffee place is so I took some pictures of the pond and the ducks were out and just like um lots of flowers were in bloom so there was a load of lavender out as well which was gorgeous and, and bluebells so I took some photographs of that and just like the town really just sort of had a little quick swizz around and took some photos so yeah so that was just sort of a, a, a nice little nod to to where I live again the more more kind of coffee happening <laughs> drinks from the coffee shop so talked about iced coffee which I love because it was a warm week it was really nice to have that so a piece of my routine right now because normally I would have been going into the city for work but because we're kind of working from home at the moment it means that my routines changed slightly so just sort of that quite that worked quite nicely as well with sort of saying how my routine has changed uh, so again just a picture of me that's my husband's legs <laughs> uh going out and getting a nice coffee um this is an old um dear lizzie um little like hair grip type clip thing but it just had lovely on it and i really liked that sort of a little bit of a gold element so um yeah so i just sort of pop that on there um jay for just do it so i was sort of talking about um it's it was about a year since uh, i posted my very first scrapbook principle on my blog so I was just this is a kind of conversation about like my principles and my shop and Etsy and kind of how all that's kind of grown over the last year 
um, with a little J for just do it, and then that's just a little um, picture of I was making at the time a uh, the American Office um, kit, so it's Bears, Beats, and Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> so, um, so I just added that in. Again, I did the same thing with the circle um, from before with the digital sort of overlay with adding the different colours behind it. I've done that a few times because I really liked how it looked um, and because I could sort of change the colours. This is a um, from Ali's circle kit, I think, um, the little kind of watercolour circles. So, uh, so I just used that and then I popped some sort of kindness sort of kindnesses <laughs> on uh, on here so just general stuff really about like looking after my husband because he had his first vaccine and he didn't feel very well um like catching up with neighbors because I saw them in the streets sort of asking how they're doing creating freebies and um, checking my family and booking my vaccine as well which I did that week as well so he had his first one and I booked in my first one for the following week so it was very it was a very vaccine-y week. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I just popped in a little picture of a donut there, which I got when I was waiting to get Chris a sausage roll <laughs> to keep him happy when he wasn't feeling very well. <laughs> um, love, so just like love this. So I've got like Chris having his vaccine, sunshine, audiobooks, cat, cat cuddles, halloumi, you know, just all good stuff. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, the, I guess the issue with doing the alphabet thing, which I did notice was that I, there was this kind of repetitiveness with my journaling and things um but that doesn't really matter too much to me because I was just quite happy to kind of talk about those things in a different light with a different prompt uh so M for music so these are like the sort of main albums I was listening to that week so I'm sort of obsessed with Jerry Cinnamon at the moment so I was listening to a lot of him um and yeah Royal Blood album had come out so so yeah so I just kind of popped a couple of little album covers there um and then on the back again that's just some more of my um uh what's it called jelly plate stuff so I just sort of popped those in there too as just kind of the back of it um so that's the first whoops one so you see what I mean about them being a bit chunky I I don't like to stop myself from um from sort of being able to add embellishments in even if it's a smaller album I like I like embellishments and you know I wouldn't want to lose that and um, that look by you know trying to thin it all down uh, this one is <laughs> considerably chunkier than the other one no, I don't quite know what happens <laughs> um this I just thought I'd start it with um a little collection of sort of bits and pieces from that week so uh, I had a new pair of shoes come from sketches I had a little um some like collots come from white stuff so I just sort of stuck that in there that was one of the tags some jelly bellies came uh, so I've just got to love this there and that's just a reverses because they all looked fine and I've just got a little sticker there from my coffee um from Slake so so yeah so it was just a sort of a little kind of I knew I, somewhere in the album I wanted a little nod of some bits and pieces that I'd collected that week and um, that's just another um jelly plate um piece so I just sort of pop that in there a little rainbow um so yeah this one starts with uh talking about my cat Waking up in the morning, my funny like a cat had been sick in the night, but she'd been sick like over the window ledge, down behind a radiator, like onto the carpet. It was, it was diabolical. <laughs> so um, yeah, I had to spend quite a long time cleaning it. So I've just got uh, one of the houses on the front there, and then N for no thank you, and then just this little this is real life, and that's just me holding some Dettol cleaning spray, <laughs> going in to sort it out, uh, and one of her little cat toys there. Um, yeah, ridiculous. That was horrendous. <laughs> Uh, so just showing that you know low so not all all of the points from the week were high high points it's just life and low um it's just our house so it's a general kind of little chat about you know things being how things are in our house because we're in it all the time now because of the pandemic so yeah I just kind of took some photos around the house so it was a good excuse to use them so I've got like my bag on the door and our living room the kitchen with the flowers on the uh, window ledge and just having lots of coffee from our coffee machine um, while watering the plants I tend to sort of give them all a shower each sort of week or so pop them all in the shower bottom and then like give them a spritz with some water just to kind of bring them back to life <laughs> uh, so that's my husband cooking one of the nights um, just some pictures of my desk from sort of working from home 
uh, P was for podcast, so I've got a big, um, that's an audi audible podcast of Alan Partridge's podcast, so um, so I've got that on a big one there, um, and then sort of podcasts, and then just a little chat about what kind of, we had to merge our podcasts, because um, we li listen to different ones, so um, working from home has been quite fun, because we've kind of been like investigating each other's podcasts, so <laughs> it's been quite cool, um, so, and then just little kind of screen grabs of the different podcasts, and um, just sort of pop them on there so there's a few of those there and then that's just a big one of the dollop there as well which was another one we were listening to so that's fun so yes yeah, so i just wanted to kind of finish that off um queue for queen um i was going to do queuing but then i didn't really have to queue anywhere too much i had to queue for sausage rolls but it was the queue wasn't that long and i didn't really have time to sort of whip out my camera and <laughs> take a photo of that so i thought i'd do queue for queen because um because we recently got some new freddie mercury funkos so um for both of our birthdays so i've just got a little freddie quote here that says i like to be surrounded by splendid things uh, and it's just a little picture of freddie on top of uh, our because <laughs> we're grown-ups our um our lego uh ghostbusters firehouse <laughs> don't ask questions <laughs> so yeah so that's just cute uh reading uh alpha reading so i was reading the midnight library at the time um so i've just got a little divider there and then just a photo of me holding the book um, and then these little sort of leverette um, hearts are from Ali Edwards that are really nice. So I've kind of sprinkled those through the album. Um, S is for self care. So I was just kind of talking about like, I had a little bit of that health scare earlier in the year. Um, so sort of trying to be a bit more better at things. So getting outside more, drinking more water, looking after myself, my skin, you know, all those kinds of things. So, so yeah, so I just had a photograph uh, one of the mornings when I was putting on makeup and just sort of took a picture of my kind of makeup bag and bits and pieces. So it's kind of like a nod to that. So that was cute. Uh, TV, T for TV. So um, that's just a little um, paper that I put together quickly using one of my die cuts. I just sort of turned it into a paper. Um, so uh, I wanted the colours to kind of match with the starstruck so um, I just kind of picked the colours from that and changed it. Uh, and then I've just got a little kind of mini divider here with what we were watching. So we were watching The Boys, um, Motherland, uh, which is so funny. Uh, the Queen's Gambit, which is like ridiculously brilliant. But we're really late to the party with that. And Bodyguard as well. We were like, it's taken us like a year to watch them. Everyone else has watched them ages ago. <laughs> um, Starstruck, which is amazing. And if you haven't seen it, if you're in America, I think it's on HBO now. Yeah, HBO Max. So you should be able to find that, but it, it, I would highly recommend it. It's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, definitely give that a look. Um, so I've just got one of the um, this cracked me up from the new Ali um, Laugh um, story kit. Uh, you is for us. So just sort of saying about my funny little family of me, my husband, and my cat. So uh, I had a photograph of the three of us all sat on the sofa together. Uh, so I just kind of pulled the camera up above us and took the picture of the three of us. So I've just got a little heart there and free um oops fees for vaccines so yeah as i was saying like my husband got his first job and then i booked mine so i've got the little email that um little text message there that i've kind of chopped all the important <laughs> private details out of <laughs> just kind of said like it's booked for the 18th of may um so i've just popped that on a little flippy with the v for vaccines and then that's just a little um happy pills from my um uh from one of my kits so with a little cat paper uh, so yes, yeah, so that's there. That's a cute girl um, paper, by the way. Um, so yes, yeah, a picture of my husband there with his um, vaccine card and uh, his little jab. <laughs> so yeah, so that was when he was feeling okay, and then about a couple of hours later, he was uh, he was not feeling okay. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, w for working from home. So just sort of talking about our office setup and how we kind of had to tweak things to to work from home. So we sit upstairs in our loft in that office together. So that's really nice. Um, I use some of these like transparent circle stickers um, on this uh, piece of acetate to just sort of create some fun like uh, circles through the, the picture. Um, so that's quite cool. So then we flip it, it's kind of there too, because I quite like to re repeating the circles from this paper. Um, so that's sweet. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's just a picture of me and my husband sort of blurry in the background. Uh, doing the very basic stuff in uh, what? <laughs> doing all the very basic stuff of life in this moment. There we go. <laughs> and then just a very good because yeah, we both really enjoy working from home. So um, so that's nice. Uh, whoops. Uh, this so X is getting quite hard with some of these like letters at the end of the alphabet. So little XO sort of hugs our story. And use this little heart here um, from uh, from Ali Edwards there. 
and then just a picture of the two of us sort of holding hands in bed in the morning so I um, have my laptop with me so yeah so that's just a nice sort of there's no need for journaling there or anything like that because you know I know I love him <laughs> um so yeah so that was just sweet um why was for yes please uh so I just said yes please to walks in the sun playing with paper watching good telly sleeping in a morning coffee break so and that's just one of my um that's just the kind of printouts from the um the office kit that I was working on that week so yes yeah, so I just wanted to pop a little picture in that and then finally was uh, Z. So we've got z z z z z z. So I just put I just thought I put a, like a sleeping thing because I had a picture of Clem snoozing. So I've just gone for loads of Z's. You are magical. And then in this little divider here, I've just got like love this. And then uh, a little heart. And then just this picture of her there, just saying being in the here and now. And so yeah. And then that's it really. So that's just another one of my hips on the end there. So. That's it. That's the whole uh, the week uh, documented with the entire alphabet. So yeah, a bit random, but <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It was such a fun um, fun thing to do. Um, so I mean, like I think I'd do it again with the alphabet, but I've sort of certainly learned that it's um it's 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 a bit of a faff, you know. It's it's no joke. So if you want to do it, it's quite a um a complicated process of kind of coming up with the prompts and then kind of going through it all. Um, and I just use these little um, alpha alphas on the side here to just do a little week in the life for one and two for 2021. So there we go. So that's it. That's the whole uh, flip through. Uh, I hope you like it. <laughs> um, yeah, any questions about anything in particular, feel free to pop a question in the comments and I'll come back to you. And um, yeah, there we go. Um, not much else to report at the moment other than um, I'm working on a design team uh, sort of thing uh so on my instagram i've posted saying that i'm looking for people for um to just sort of work with my printables um so yeah if you fancy applying then feel free to flick over to my instagram up again i'll put the link below um so you can check out the post um because i kind of list all the details in there and kind of like what would be one you know what I would want and and how that would work and then um, I've got an email address there too if you do want to apply then there's an email address where you can just send me uh, your application with like some pictures of some of your favorite sort of scraps that you've made and um, yeah on the 1st of August that will be the kind of closing date for applications and then the following week I'll get in touch with people and let them know that they're on the team Woohoo! so yeah it's all very exciting it's what's going on at the moment it's all a bit hectic don't quite know what I'm doing <laughs> standard <laughs> but um we'll get there anyway and um yeah it's exciting so um i'm hoping that it's kind of another step in the uh, in the right direction of kind of something <laughs> i don't know what that is yet entirely but uh, it's happening <laughs> anyway i'll leave it there and uh yeah sending you all lots of love i hope you're getting on well wherever you are and that you're kind of dealing with all the lockdown pandemic some of you might be going back to work and I know it's all a bit hairy and a bit scary so um we're kind of trialing it at my place now and it's sort of there's some mixed mixed feelings about it so yeah it's just it's all a bit intense so um there's going to be a lot of people I know that are going to be super stressed out at the moment so um some that are going to be relieved to be going back and some that are really going to be apprehensive about it so I, I feel you if um if you don't feel particularly happy about it or you know you're uh, a bit a bit scared um but hopefully we'll all get through it together and not be uh, complete dicks to one another <laughs> we can only hope um, but yeah i'm sending you all my love anyway and um yeah uh, take care guys and uh, i'll be back soon hopefully sooner than last time anyway <laughs> okay take care bye mm -hmm.